Our next technique is glazing. And what glazing really is, is once you get to the point where you're using oil to do some blending, um, glazing is kind of the next layer. So you've gotten kind of your main layer on. Um, here is a good example too. I've got my main layer of paint there. Glazing is how you start to sort of tint everything. Um, so I'm going to be doing some glazing. So you're adding uh, a good amount of paint and then you're also adding, so I've got my oil paint here. And then I'm also adding a good amount of oil. So glazing is kind of the top layers of your oil paints. So what you're doing is you're making thin, like oily layers that are just going to tint what's underneath here. So it's going right over the top of these other colors. So you can still see what's underneath, but I kind of have this top now oily layer And I can either blend it out so that it kind of disappears into the layer underneath. Or I can start adding another color, which is actually what I'm going to do. So I've got this sort of oily brown here, and now I'm going to make this oily Naples yellow. I like lots of glazing in my work because I like to use lots of layers and lots of details. Um, so this would be kind of how I would incorporate that. So, you know, using lots of different glazes where you can still see what's underneath and you're just sort of tinting the top color. Here would be a glazed layer. You can also um, use glazing toward the end of your project. So this stem I would consider to be almost done, um, but I can use oil and some of my burnt umber. And I like to use it to actually go back into my paintings and just give them a little more oomph. So sometimes in oil painting with all of the blending you're able to do, you can kind of lose some of the details. Uh, so I like to use glazing layers. In these glazing layers, I can also just keep adding a little bit of oil. Um, what that oil will do is it'll blend it out. So on my top layers, which this is one of my very top layers, I'm gonna just keep adding a little bit of oil and that oil will actually blend it out right on the top. And then I'll take a clean brush. If I'm kind of satisfied with how things are working and I'll take my clean brush here and I'll start to kind of fuzzy the edges. I like to take a dry brush. I can even take my finger and kind of blend out my glazing layers. Uh, glazing also gives it a little bit of a shine. Um, so you can take your glazing layer here and you can see that it becomes a little bit more shiny on the top. And once it dries, it will maintain a pretty good shine if you use oil and glazing on the top of your paintings.